Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Wednesday's What Sold on eBay. And that's it. <laughs> We only have eBay sales to pack up for you today, but you know what? It's still like what, 17? 16? 18. 17 parcels with eight. Huh? Did you grab two of those pillows? No. You want to go get the other one? Yeah, I think we should just send it. Just send them two. Yeah, we'll just send them. All right, we'll just send them two. Just do the nice thing. Do the nice Hi thing. Hi and welcome. We're full time <clears throat> resellers in Dallas, Texas. We come at you Monday through Thursday at least and show you what's sold for us on our platforms, uh, eBay, Poshmark, or, and or Mercari. Poshmark has been pretty slow for us, even though we've been listing. I cross-listed like 100 things over there yesterday and today. Still not popping off, if you know what I mean. Uh, we are listing live on another channel. It's always linked below. It's called the Reseller Workroom. We list from 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time over there. So if you're new to eBay and you want to see the listing process, I show my computer and show how we begin all of the listings in eBay. Right. We do cross-list using a software called Vendu. And sometimes I show that too. Hey, and speaking of that other channel, it's its birthday today. It is? It is. We started it one year ago today. So there you go. We've been streaming live. <laughs> in the evenings for a year now yes to say that it has transformed our business would be a <clears throat> massive understatement because now we have some accountability and well, if you need accountability pop on over there yeah it's fun come on over we have a good time today is the end of an era error you hear me error error it's close if it's not the end it's very very close yeah today we are packing up our last huge electronic <laughs> If you've been with us a while, you know we used to sell electronics, and we sold a lot of them. Yeah. We eliminated them from our business because they were large, they required too much testing, and the return rate was astronomical. Okay? But we sold a few lingering <laughs> yep. in the garage. This TV, we have an offer for $40 on it mm. during the live last night, and the chat consensus was that we should take the offer. It's an old TV. You, you know, people buy these because you can put the Nintendos and the Ataris and all the old school game consoles yeah. into the TV. Right. Right in it. In it. <laughs> and then you can play your games. Yeah. It's, it doesn't really work in new TVs, so you kind of got to buy an old TV. So we had this price like 100 and it did get a lot of interest, but it's been listed for a couple of years. And we're going to pack it up today. And some of y'all love when we pack up electronics. Mm. Some of y'all cringing. Mm -hmm. And most of y'all are just going to be dumbfounded. You know what? There's going to be something for everybody today. We're here for you. <laughs> a little bit of cringe. I'm crying. Of, uh, yeah. Tears. Tears. Okay. Tears of supplies. Do we want to start with that? Or we want to get these? Yeah, we should because we're not going to be able to move. True. We just need to just do it. This is a Sylvania TV. It sold for $40. We didn't have a box for it, so Dan had to go buy a box. It does have the dang remote, which is dirty. Dirty. The remote doesn't have the battery cover, though. Well, that's awkward. Did you disclose that? We don't know. I have no idea. We listed this stuff so long ago. Do not recommend selling anything that you are not comfortable selling or anything that you hate. If you hate it, stop doing it. Yeah. What's the point of working for yourself? You know what I mean? Seriously. That's what we've stopped doing. Anyway, we could have donated this, probably should have, but here we are. Here we are. And you get to come along for the ride. I'm cleaning this electronic nasty remote with a baby wipe from Huggies Simply Clean. <laughs> I like to clean electronics with baby wipes because they don't leave a residue. Um, this is going to take all of the bubble wrap that we currently have, and we already spent money on boxes. It's just not a good... It's just just not, not great. But you know what? We're buying our space back. We are. All right, I'm going to grab some of these noodles. I want to address some of the comments because sometimes we don't have enough time to get to all of them as we do two videos a day. Oh, we've got time. We've got time today. Get yourself <laughs> a snack. Um, somebody yesterday was talking about our $20 sales that we've been doing recently. We've been getting a lot of lower dollar items but you know what i have mixed emotions about it i totally get the higher asp you know conversation that people have 
it takes you the same amount of time to list a hundred dollar item as it does a twenty dollar item i get it i do that yep. makes sense however it takes a lot longer to sell the hundred dollar item if it's not like the most popular thing of all time at the time and we listed a bunch of hundred dollar things hundred dollar plus things all at one time and then our sales plummeted <laughs> because people didn't have money to buy that at that time those items seem to be longer tail for us and so right now we're in a little bit of a flex mode where we're trying different things and i recommend that for businesses <clears throat> yeah and we bought out an entire estate sale of this lady who just had a million clothes well we bought it out and we spent like five thousand dollars on it yep we did our entire van is full still and we're going through the stuff some of it we're very comfortable with like eileen fisher you guys know we sell the crap out of eileen fisher um eileen fisher and lafayette 148 then there's a lot of brands that we are not familiar with and ebay doesn't have very many comps there's a brand called yancey fugal mm -hmm. and there's a lot of it a lot of that there's not a lot of comps on ebay there's some low comps and this is what i find when people don't have a comp they just go low and i'm under the impression that maybe we're gonna try it yes, maybe if we list a bunch of it we can control the market we did this with eileen fisher <coughs> and now the comps on eileen fisher are better we listed hundreds and hundreds of eileen fisher pants and now the comps you can pretty much comp at 40 or 50 dollars and when we were listing them the comps were like 15 or 20. yeah so if you have enough of something you can kind of steer the comps if that makes sense all we have to do is find one person or two people <laughs> that love this brand that love this brand yep and then they're going to buy a ton from us and then all of a sudden they're going to be sold comps <clears throat> you see what i'm saying so i'm not saying this is gonna happen but it could happen yeah and we've done something similar the same thing happened with lafayette 148 the comps used to be terrible we listed a ton of it and now it's selling i'm not saying that we control the market on that i'm not sure what happened with that one i know we shifted the market on eileen fisher pants i saw it happen <laughs> in yeah. real time you're welcome i'm just kidding but anyway so the 20 dollars sales are actually keeping us afloat right now and it's not the business model that we want to live with forever but the chicos and the talbots is paying the bills it really is and since we had to buy everything at the estate sale, I love cleaning stuff like this. I just want you guys to know that I am <laughs> loving this. Um, since we had to buy everything in order to get the price, whoa. Sorry about that. Uh, silent like tape gun, not so silent. <laughs> uh, anyway, since we had to buy everything, we have the stuff. So I'm going to be really careful when I'm telling you what sold, whether we would pick it up thrifting or not. And most of these things are a knot, unless it's very, very cheap at the bins. And I'm going to tell you some of the things I've learned that are yes, like a boho chico top, I pretty much would pick up at the bins. Yeah. I really would. But yeah. if you had asked me like a month ago, I would be yeah. like, yeah, girl, no. Get out of here with the chicos. I was just judgy McJudgerson, but Whoa. now the judging is coming from the the sales. <laughs> if it's selling, I'm I'm in for it. So I'm going to try to do a better job of explaining hey, okay. these sales because we just have this stuff. And I don't want you guys to go out to the thrift store. Start loading up. Yeah, like, oh, I'm going to pay $3.99. No, 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 no. I'll tell you the maximum price I probably would pay. I think that's fair. Fair game. I'm trying to give you guys good information as always and not steer you into a trap. So thank you for whoever brought up the comment. I think that's good advice. But with our cost of goods on these, we are still making a pretty healthy profit. And the volume, which is not our favorite game to play. Nope. But the volume is making up for it. And we've gotten our listing product down. We're, we're listing 20 to 25 items a night in three hours, which is pretty great. Our average is like eight an hour. We did the math last night to figure that out. And um, I'm steaming the stuff during the day. So that's helping us go faster because the items are prepped, which I know is obvious to most of you, but to us. <laughs> Didn't really have that standard before. Dan is just going to town on this. He's putting pool noodles on the front. I've heard from Instagram that the pool noodles are back at Dollar Tree now. All right. 
So if you need pool noodles, if you are selling electronics or anything for a gile like that, you can go pick some up. Okay. Some people say it's cheaper at five below, like they're a dollar hey, there. Hey, hey, easy. That was last hey. season, because dollar twenty-five tree now. It is dollar twenty-five tree you have. What's up with that? Nothing. All right, how much room do I have? Somebody right. just paid for something on eBay. We still have some outstanding payments. All right, that's pretty good front to back. Yeah, this is gonna have to go in, in another box. It's just gonna have to. Okay. Unfortunately. So we charge $35 in shipping on this and hopefully UPS does us right. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I know, we're about to find out. <laughs> okay, so I don't have any more front, front to back room, but I do want to wrap the back of this thing with some bubble wrap. This is why we don't do electronics anymore because it just takes so long. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of supplies as well. And we just don't have the room or the supplies or the budget. You know, and then odds are mm, I'm not going to jinx this. Don't do it. <laughs> I won't say it out loud, but okay. there's a high pr probability. <laughs> this remote was really gross. I need to sanitize my hands. Do we have any sanitizer in here? Man, remotes get gross. They say that's the worst thing in a hotel room. Just letting you know. I don't touch it. Okay. Well, that didn't work at all. Two step process here. We'll wrap this cord with some stretch. Stretch wrap. Stretch wrap is really great. It's not great for the environment, but it's great for. For this. this and um, if you've never used it I would recommend getting a roll it's very cheap on Amazon it, yeah it only sticks to itself it takes a little getting used to if you've never worked with it this is why we don't sell electronics I could spend three hours cleaning this <laughs> I get I'm, I'm gonna have zone. to stop her when it just I am in <laughs> the zone yeah you are Everybody's paying for their stuff now, so we might add them to, the, to today's. We are filming a little Can earlier. You with the uh, the wrap here, please. We're filming a little earlier, so that, which way are we going? Like, yeah. Don't drop it. Go way more to the back because we don't have a whole lot of room. Way more to the back, bird. Thank you. Perfect. Bouncing baby girl. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. That was technical. I didn't get any on the back though. We we'll have to like wedge something in. No, the box wedges. Yeah, but like on this. Yeah, there you go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I gotta tape it. Uh oh. Uh, gotta do a little reinforcement. Yeah, I think, I think stretch wrap, yeah, a little here. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're currently 14 minutes in. Wonderful. Just letting you know we're being real. Don't yell at us. Stop yelling. We realize this isn't the best business choice. Huh. We've changed, except that we shouldn't have taken the soccer. <laughs> I just wanted it out so bad. I wanted it gone, please. Just wanted it gone, and now it's gonna be gone. Stop all over me now. Okay, I can actually. Oh, that's I can actually bring this down to. Where? He's using a box resizer tool. Y'all forgive. I gotta go get some hand sanitizer. I can't do this. Can you tell them what you're using? Um, actually, this box is actually. Like multi size. Oh. It's creased in, in one inch increments, so it can be whatever height you need it to be. I think we can go down to there. Save two two inches on this guy, hopefully. 
okay. Yeah, and that'll be all right because I'm gonna put this box inside another box, so that'll be fun. I got some. I was feeling a little less than fresh after the remote stripped down. Found our car fair and sanitizer bottle. Okay. Oh no, he, he's down here doing something. I'm just taping this, the inner box. I'm drinking my coffee. Taping the inner box. Box in a box. Why am I doing this wearing a hoodie? I'm sweating now. Great. Okay. Is that enough tape? I always wonder. I feel like you should probably put a couple, right? Yeah. In case you have a blowout. I don't want to have a blowout. Nobody wants to have a blowout. We sold a lot of clothes in a little bit of time. And I think if we add the two that just got paid, maybe it was three. I, I'm eager to show you which clothes are selling because I think most of you watching are some kind of clothes people. So I might go pull them myself. Uh oh, look at you. I pull things. I know. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Hey! <laughs> Kick it wide Whoa, open. Whoa, I didn't know it wasn't that heavy. <laughs> of course, of course. Can, hey, can you grab. Uh, can you grab me another pool noodle, too? Yeah. Thank you. It doesn't matter. What? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to cut through and it's not going and there's a piece of PVC in there. I was like, what's happening? What happens when you get pool noodles from the theater? All right. I don't want to just. All right. So, what we're working with here. Yeah. I'll have you reprint the um That's what I'm talking about. Oh well, let me not get in the way of that. <laughs> noise, noise, noise. Yes, yes. Um is there an, is there more? One more? Yeah. Two more? Just give I me mean, whatever's there. I'll take it all, please. Well there's a lot of little pieces at the bottom. I can't reach them though. Yeah, it doesn't have to be the little pieces. Nice. Nice. Did you see those knives? They have special knives at the Dollar Tree now for cutting pool noodles. <laughs> I did not see those. Yeah, no. I think we should get them and do a review. Everyone wants to know. Really? I mean, I would want to know. Okay. Cool. 
cool. Now I just need a little bit of something for the sides. What, what are you talking about? Oh, are you going to need one side or two sides? Well, ideally four sides. Let me see what happens. Kind of paper. Let me yeah. see if the air pockets will do the thing. Think it's gonna fit. Can we use any more plastic? I hate it. We're at 21 minutes. <laughs> it's good to notice this kind of thing though, because Yeah. I mean it it fits around three. And then on top. I still feel like there's some room on top. You need more? Well, once I. Oh. This is the area is just bonus. Bonus. There you go. 13 inch TV in an 18 inch cube box. Sigh. <laughs> Sigh. You want to do the math on this guy? Nope. <laughs> Wait, what math? The dimensional weight. Oh, yeah, sure. But you meant how much we were making. Like, <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> um, I would like you to reprint the thing first. If okay. You don't mind. I can definitely do that. Woo! Man. Okay, so it, what's the 18 by 18 by 18? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. 18 times 18 times 18 is 5832 divided by... 166. 166. 36 pounds. All right. So if you do the dimensional weight for things that are big and heavy, you do the length times width times height, and whatever that is, if it's super heavy, if it's over 1728... Then for UPS, which is what we're going to do this, it's you divide it by 166. That's the number that they've set. And you can look this up online. Just look up dimensional weight calculation. And so we're going to pay for 36 pounds rather than the actual weight of this, which might be less than 36 pounds. You pay a premium for big, heavy stuff. So do you want to weigh it and see what it actually is? Yeah. Are you going to put it up here? Um... Sure. And there are dimensional weight calculators where you just enter the dimensions and it does it for you. So it actually weighs 22, almost 23 pounds, but we're going to pay for 36 pounds. And you're like, Amy, that's going to be so much more. It's not. It's really not. And we'll show you the difference. Yeah. So this is 18 by 18 by 18. Where do you want me to... Is it actually 18? You didn't like cut it down at all? I did not cut this okay. outer one down at all. Nope. Getting it out of here. We work in our master closet. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. It's 220 square feet high. Okay, high. so 18 by 18 by 18. And the actual weight was 23 pounds, but the dimensional weight is 36 pounds. Great. Okay. All right. Let's start packing up clothes. Clothes are easier. <laughs> did you pull the new ones? I did. Cool. They're first on the list. Okay, great. The first thing is towel bits. You're going to notice a theme today of <laughs> low dollar brands that we would never sell in our lives, but we had them, so we listed them, and we're trying them, and now they're sold. Do we have more of those? Yeah. Okay. So these are towel bits pants. Uh, they're red, bright red. Towel bits size 12, red, the perfect crop stretch chino pants capri flat front these sold for $13 don't come at me <laughs> they sold for $13 and I'm just trying this out we listed like five or six pairs of these I know that colored trousers are not especially in right now and I also know that capris are not especially in so I was trying it and something's worth what someone's willing to pay and someone offered 13 and so rather than lose the sale I took it but we have more of these listed, so some might sell for more. That's right. So we're just trying it out. And trying it out and making money at the same time is my favorite way to try things out. <laughs> Don't go to the store and pick up all the Talbot's Capris that are red. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that 13 bucks. And we would have donated otherwise, right? So we're trying it. 
All right, these guys weigh 13. And the, our buyers do pay shipping. We don't do free shipping at all. Okay, this is a cool shirt. This is one of my favorite brands to sell, even though the, the value has plummeted quite a bit. But this is a cool shirt. This is from Chaser. And look at that, it's got big cats on it. Oh yeah. I don't know why this shirt took so long to sell, but it is cool. And it's printed on the back as well. This is like a festival shirt. Yeah, I'd rather use some of these little ones when we can. Yeah, I was like about to. I got these little little poly mailers at the bins. I'm trying to. Oh, the super them. littles. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like there's a world in which we could use less of these bags. Yeah. Like we could like. reuse these. You know what I mean? Like this doesn't. It's a T-shirt. Yeah. Like what's gonna happen? Yeah, nothing. Nothing's gonna happen, right? Just try it in the poly. And then we could just put a number right over this. Yeah. Sometimes we should send it, right? Depending if it's like a silk. Yeah. But I feel like we could save weight and save money because like what if it's just over into the next shipping class or whatever. Yeah. I'm just We're having a business meeting. <laughs> Get out of our business meeting, <laughs> you eavesdropper. We paid $1.99 for this. It's from the thrift. And, um. lower gear here. Four ounces. Oh, it's still four ounces. Dang it. All right. The next thing is J. Jill. Uh, we just listed this. J. Jill. Oh, sorry. The Chaser sold for $18. J. Jill women's size extra large striped floral back button front top mixed media. Do you guys know what mixed media is? Should I show them what mixed media is? Sure. I love it. I think because then we could just reuse these tonight, like actually tonight. Yeah. Less plastic at the landfill. All right. Here's the J Jill tag. We pick up J Jill not always, but when it looks like bohemian like this, this is striped on the front, which is very trendy right now. And on the back, it's got flowers and a different fabric. It's more sheer on the back. That's why it's called mixed media. I see. Yeah, and this sold for $19, which is about what we get for J. Jill. If it's embroidered, sometimes we can get upwards of like $35, $40, but for this kind of a thing, $19 is a pretty healthy sale. Should we put like tissue paper on it or something? I feel a little weird. <laughs> but then we're using more supplies. Right. I don't think, you know, honestly, I don't think an eBay buyer is really going to care. I really don't. Because tissue paper would take time. Right. Come on, man. We're just always here experimenting because that's, you know, when you work for yourself, you're going to experiment with things. Like, all of the shirts so far that we haven't put plastic on could get wet. It's like, you get wet when you put it in the washer. Six ounces. Like, what if rain gets in this little... No, it's not going to get in there. It's fine. I'm just thinking out loud. Chico's! Uh -oh. This is the Talbots and Chico show. Welcome. Seriously. Chico's blue pants. Blue pants. Chico's size 1 regular US 8 secret stretch straight leg pants blue trouser. New. Thirty-two dollars. Okay. okay, Chico's. All right. Now, see, I would keep that in the bag because it's got tags, right? Does that deserve a bag? And it would take more time for me to take it out of the bag. See, 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 see. Oh, ah, eat. I think with Chico's, like many other brands, if you can figure out what the model is, that's why I love it when it's tagged. You can get more money. Hey. I mean, if you had taken them out to show them with the camera, that's different. Whatever. Yeah. Fifteen. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be very clear about this. Here we go. This is the Neiman Marcus house brand, and I used to be snobby about it. I thought it was like a house brand that didn't sell. It sells extraordinarily well for us. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that many people would pick it up at the thrift. I think they feel like it's generic. It's not. Yeah. People that wear this brand, oh, they know. Oh, they do. A little, little musty. We're small. And see, this needs like a little... Uh, 
a they little. Think? Well, I need to look at this. Um, it needs, you know, a padded or something because of these little guys. It's got all these little beads. Right. And I don't want to just throw it in a poly and have the beads. Right. Break. It's got a couple of snags. I wonder if we noted that. You want to see me nitpick it? All right. Anyway, here's the brand. Neiman Markiv. Marcus exclusive. This is just a knit sweater, but it has some really gorgeous beading detail on the sleeves and on the collar. Do you want me to go get some little padded? Or I think are we out of little yeah, padded? Yeah, we have this all the we have this discussion quite Every a lot. Every day. Yep. Yeah. Um Okay. We don't really sell beaded things that much, so we don't we're not really equipped. Oh, there's <laughs> a big like dust bunny on it. Dust bunny, get out of there. Okay, let me see. There was a little Stow snag. Away. You guys want to see the snag nabbit? Oh, uh, who doesn't? Who doesn't want to see the snag nabbit? It's literally what it's called. It's a snag nabbit. I found one at the thrift the other day. New in package. <laughs> my snag nabs. Oh, they're right here. All right, one of these is called a knit picker. One of them is called a snag nabbit. I don't know which one's which. <laughs> but they come in a two pack on Amazon, and I'm here for it. I linked it in one of our videos. I'm partial to the one with a little hook on it. So whether this is the knit picker or the snag nabbit, I don't know. It's like this, and it has a little hook. And it like grabs. Uh-huh. All right. You need an assist? I'm gonna need you to hold it. I'm gonna put my head through the ring light again. Oh, People fun. love this. Okay, it's at the top there. Okay. I'm not sure if we noted it. I really don't remember. I told her we were listing 20 to 25 things, which means we're listing pretty fast. Yep. All right, here's a little pull. This isn't like the biggest deal, but I'm definitely gonna try to pull it back through. Still haven't done my nails, friends. I need the other one. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. I need the other one. <laughs> Come on, friend. Yeah, I'll help. Okay. So with this one, the reason I need the other one is because the knit is so tight. So this is like, it's like a needle, but it has a. Mm -hmm. It's focusing on your. Has a threaded yeah, end. Yeah, you can kind of. Yeah, that's all like threaded. So what I do, I don't know if you guys are gonna see this or not, but I gotta do it anyway, so might as well try. Try. Where's the dang snag? Here it is. As I thread it through the snag. So see there it is. Can you see that? Barely. There it is. There's the snag. So that I can figure out what's going on on the other side. Wrap it around, and then I stick it back through, and hope it doesn't come off. Sometimes it comes off. Some oh, it came off. Hold on, we're just gonna have to. My head is in the ring light again. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to. We're trying, people. I wish this needle were a little bit shorter. Yeah, so you wouldn't have to pull it so much. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, I'm not going to say it's a bad design because it's amazing, but come back toward me a little bit. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you guys see what's happening? Kind of, can kind of tell, yeah. So the key is to not pull this all the way through or you're going to have a big hole. So you get the thread pulled through and then you take the needle out. Ah. <laughs> okay, so now that the, the snag is pulled through, you kind of have to like re it. reintegrate it. And it's not perfect, but it looks way better. Yeah. See that? Amazing. All right, let me actually look at it. Let me take an actual look. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's way better. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
All right, and there you have it. It's just, yeah, it's now it's pulled through to the inside. Yep. So this is called a knit picker snag. I think this is the snag nabbit, and the other one, the little hook, is the knit picker. I think you're correct. Because I just nabbed that snag. You saw what I did. <laughs> snag the nab. All right. I really need to do my nails. I'll do that for tomorrow. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, this sold for $27.96 and it sold very quickly within two days. The title is Neiman Marcus Women's Size Large Blouse Top Silk Nylon Pink Stretch White Beaded Trim. Hey, okay, hey, what, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, you're going too fast. No, okay. no, no, no. Okay. No, no. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do when you're shipping something that is like beaded is you have to put tissue paper because the beads are going to snag on the knit. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So you can't let the beads touch the knit. Or you're I, gonna... I knew there was something that I was missing. <laughs> Lift shirt. Lift shirt. Gretchen's tissue paper trials. <laughs> Slow motion. I was like, wait. Here we go. Thank you. Okay. So I think twenty-seven ninety-five is pretty good for that. It's vintage. It's you know. My analysis. Not the most popular name brand, but that stuff does sell for us. I'm always shocked. I don't know why. Okay. Um, also, hot tip. Hot tip! Look at where your stuff is going. Mm -hmm. And if you've been there, look at the fashions there and try to put the pieces together. Guess where that's going. I just want you to guess. Uh, just guess. Who do you know that wears stuff like that? I don't work. No. Who do you know personally? I would yeah. wear that top. Oh. Okay. His mom. Yeah. And where does she live? South Beach. Or Miami. Guess where it's going? Miami. Naples. Naples. Yeah. Well, basically. Right? Yeah. So this is the thing. You can kind of... Oh, gosh. You can kind of put the pieces together when you're traveling and be like, oh, okay. And think of your buyer when you're buying things. Mm -hmm. Who is going to buy this? And then that way, your title appeals to that buyer. And I made that title appear to someone just like Dan's mother. <laughs> I mean, she he literally was like, oh, my mom would wear that. <laughs> <Totally>. Yes. <laughs> I think it was her shirt. I, I mean, I don't know. Okay, the next one's a uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Eskandar pants. Woo. Woo. This is a really, really good sale. <laughs> um, these are, let's show them the label at All least. Right. I... Okay, let's maybe we, we start to put the packages here. 
Yeah, whatever you, whatever you think is best. Well, so you can get to the thing easier. Perfect. Okay. Eskandar. Oh, man, these are so soft. Size 3, black, Pima cotton trousers, pockets, wide leg, 34 inches, not hemmed. There we go. So I put new without tag because in order to wear these, you would need to hem them. That's how they come. These sold for $170. Yes. And they're just cotton. I mean, they're Pima cotton, which is a nice cotton. But they're not silk. They're not wool. They're, they're cotton. This brand, if you sell it, if you price it competitively, but still high, it does move. It just takes a while. Yeah. So 70, 170 pays our bills, baby. It does. We paid, how much for these? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I'm gonna tell you how long they've been listed. Not long. As far as there's what we call long tail items and things that are expensive are more long tail. Seven, two, nine, four. These were listed, girl, I don't know why we, did, we just listed these. <laughs> February 23rd of 2023. Okay. This thing keeps disconnecting. That's annoying. All right. So how much uh, padded flat rate? Yes, padded flat rate. Next is something I relisted yesterday and it sold yesterday. Nice. This is Janie and Jack. We do sell a couple of of brands of kids clothes and i couldn't figure out why this little thing was not selling y'all this is the cutest little oh my God, are you kidding here. me get out of here this looks like a little chanel blazer look at this thing <laughs> i could not figure out why it wasn't selling and i think it was the picture that front picture was like not as flattering but we did have another picture so i put that in it is new with tags look how much this stuff retails for 63 bucks for a kids thing this is what? the brand Janie Damn. and jack uh, I always pick this up at the bins, particularly... Oh, it's got a little extra pearl button. Oh, cute. Fully lined. Y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Janie and Jack Girls Tweed Cropped Jacket Navy Multicolor Size 2T New. And it's... This, this is for like, like a Kennedy child. I know. <laughs> it's sold for $21.56. So cute, but we had it listed forever. This is why relisting is so important. Uh, it just got buried. I don't think I adjusted the price that much. It was just on sale. That's why it's a weird number. Three, eight, three, nine. So stinking cute. We originally listed it January 4th of 2022 and I relisted it yesterday. That's cute. Okay. My hair is doing this weird thing. What's going on? Get it together, hair. <laughs> All right. So cute. So you got the buttons all like on the inside, right? So, yes. Okay, cool. Yes, I do. Okay. Nine ounces. Okay, the next is a bundle going to a viewer named Elizabeth. Thank you so much. She's bought from us before. We really appreciate it. And this is a fantastic brand that we've mentioned many times on our channel. Yes. This is Parsley and Sage. We just sold some from them yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's got beautiful embroidery on it. This is the logo. You see this? It kind of looks like it could be sold out of a vacation shop, but it's not. It's like way better. Look how gorgeous this is. A tie-dye tunic. And it has all different size buttons. I love that. Those little details on these kind of things are great. Um, that sold for 32 And then she also bought this Num Noms. Oh my gosh, you guys, these smell good. <laughs> what? Yeah, it smells like bubble gum. Okay. It smells so good. <laughs> uh, this is a Num Noms. I did not know what this was, but of course I'm going to look it up because look at that face. And this sold for $10. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. It's going to make your package. It's not overwhelming. It just has a little scent smell. Hmm. There's a ticket on that, friend. Ticket. Take the ticket. I think I can go into Polly. Well, he's got little 
plastic eyes, doesn't he? Yeah. And this is going to long view, so I don't think a flat rate is in. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. 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 Okay, 20 things going out on a Wednesday. It's pretty great. Yeah. Pretty so great. I think, you know, we're listing lower dollar things, and I guess with that comes higher volume. I think. We're not really good at what we're doing yet. You know, with its new brands and stuff. Alright. Bundle weighs in at 14 ounces on the nose. Nope, 14.1. 15. 15. All right, the next is J. McLaughlin. This is such an understated brand, but I love picking up this brand. We have 99 cents into this. It's from the bins. Yes. And that's like the littlest J. McLaughlin you ever did see. <laughs> I don't even know if you can tell. I don't know. It's like a... Oh, it's all stupid. Hold on. Maybe if I back up a little bit. There you go. Okay, so this is just a blue button down. I'm going to tell you what the title was. J. McLaughlin size extra small Brit linen point collar long sleeve button front blouse blue. These basics from brands like J. McLaughlin and um, Anne Fontaine, these basic button downs can do very well because people have that classic style thing going on and a blue button down is like a wardrobe staple. This sold for $36. I think that's great for a blue button down. We were talking yesterday about making a video on how to sell button downs. <laughs> Seven ounces. There's a lot going for that. The fact that it's uh, linen is really good. Yeah. Next is Talbot's again. We don't know. <laughs> Talbot size large top, pure Irish linen shirt, blouse, black button front, three quarter sleeve, new. It is new with tags. That helps. It sold for $21. Anything that is Irish linen, I always put it in the title. Always. It's a really high quality linen. You would expect something like that to be an Eileen Fisher or something, you yeah. know, an Irish linen. And it's Talbot's, so it did only go for 21 Eileen Fisher would have gone for quite a bit more. Eight ounces. All right. Next, we have the book star wars origami characters this is a viewer sale, this is a viewer sale. thank is. you yes. this is so exciting of course we have this dan loves star wars oh oh yeah it's all here it's never been opened did you re-gift this yes this was a gift from from somebody to dan and we we're selling it but it's really cool i ain't got time for origami <laughs> I do. I would make time for work on me. I did not know we had this or I would have been doing it. This is the title was Star Wars Origami 11 Paper Folding Projects from a Galaxy Far, Far Away, Brand New. Oh, so cute. Uh, this will for $7.96. Yeah, what's the shipping method on this? This is media mail. Media mail. Because it's a book with no advertising in it. Can I go? With some tabs in this, or just in that. Okay, it's one pound five. I don't know if it goes just in that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think it will survive. I mean, not survive. That's a horrible thing to say. I think it will be just fine. But that's my opinion about most things. So the bubble mailer is eleven and a half by fifteen. Yeah, with um, media mail. What if you put some little bubble wrap on it? Yeah, sure. A little extra. Yeah, a little extra. With media mail, you do need the dimensions, and if you're putting it in an envelope or a poly mailer, it, dimensions are flat, not once the thing is filled. Right. Next. Well, you'll tell me how much that weighs. No, I can't stop listing these things. Y'all need to pull the plug on me. One pound, uh, six ounces. <laughs> these vintage stuffed animals. I got two on my desk right now oh. that need to get listed. I cannot. I just cannot stop listing them. Yeah, well. I this mean, is Loveland Windsor Toys, Inc. Gray White Easter Bunny Rabbit Plush Vintage, 1985. It sold for eight bucks. I know. 
Like, look at it. This is someone's <laughs> childhood. For sure, right? Has to be. Some of what I do in any job has to be philanthropic, <laughs> and I, I just have to save these. And just leave me alone. Leave, leave her alone. <laughs> People are like, you're not making any money. I know. I'm making a couple bucks. But I'm making someone's, you know, life better. Yes. And it doesn't take us long to list these little guys. Look at his little face. Okay. Sorry. Get really excited. You want to... Can you go in a little square one? Yeah. eyes though. Yeah, it's petty. Yeah. Can you fit in there, friend? Yep. Dan's way less cautious about shipping than I am. And 99.9% .9 of the time it's fine. So like maybe this is your sign if you're a crazy shipper like me and you like overdo it and you take so much time. It's normally just fine. I always think the worst. Like gonna get smashed <laughs> four ounces i don't know it's not really fine okay the next thing we're doing another good deed so the this design firm ordered these crate and barrel olivary green retro print pillow covers i have three of them they ordered one and they wanted to order another one i wrote them a message they didn't get back we're just gonna send two. we're just sending them two I probably should send all three <laughs> Because who's going to buy one? Mm. You want me to get the other one? We've had these a long time. They don't really have any interest yet. Let's just send them. Because they're all fit in a pack, right? <laughs> I'll just send them all. I'll see one of them sold six. for uh, $23.96. And maybe we can inv invoice the guy, you know, after the fact. Is that something we can do? I don't think so. No, oh, well, we can't. Can we invoice him now? He said he would pay for the other one. He just never got back to us, and we gotta ship it. I mean, we got him at the bins or something. It's fine. Yeah. But I, I would like to get an extra twenty-five bucks. Yeah. I won't charge him for three. That's not even ever gonna happen because he we'll didn't see. ask for we'll three. We'll see what happens. See if he just comes back and. Maybe we'll just mail us a $20 bill. Yeah, right. Are these supposed to be like this? I'm like cutting these little... I think so. I better check these over. Oh, Lord. Baby wipes. Here we go. Here we go. Got a little schmutz. Yeah, a little bit. That one's got schmutz too? Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, they're bins cases. Yeah, but like, we listen to them. That's just in the, that's in the fabric. Yeah, don't be too rough, because I just like mess that <laughs> up. It's got a little schmutz. Happened to these. I do not they're, remember them being schmutzy. They're not schmutzy right here. They're just like, they're just not stitched well. Like, no, no, <laughs> I got schmutz. Okay, I don't have schmutz on this one. We're schmutz free over here. I am in... really easy to clean it either. Okay, well, does this one have schmutz? Maybe we don't need to send three if this one has schmutz on it. Happy Passover to those celebrating. As I say schmutz 15,000 <laughs> times. I mean that with all my heart. What's happening? Is this one dirty? Like, no, that's just like... Oh, see, look, that's schmutz. Schmutz. Yeah. I know, and then it gets all weird. Oh, jeez. These are from Crate and Barrel, so they should be nice, but, like, we did not do due diligence, okay? See, the fabric gets weird, doesn't it? Not oh, really. Not if you don't scrub it too hard. See, this one 
I don't know about this one. I'm having issues with it. Okay, I'll just, we'll just send the two. We'll just send the two then. It'll be just fine. Yeah, this one, I don't know. Odd number of pillowcases is just, what are you going to do with those? Well, maybe one of them is not as good, and then you can use the other one. Mm -hmm. All right, pillowcases, padded flyweight. Yeah, I'm not sure three would have fit anyway. I don't think so. All right, y'all, Talbots. I, what is happening? I, I don't know. <laughs> Talbots, women's size 12, jacket, tan, cotton, stretch, ruffle front, coat, blazer, new without tags, sold for $22. We have $3.59 into it. This sold immediately. Yeah, really, really fast. We have another one of these in black, which also almost sold immediately. I don't understand. It's a khaki blazer. $22. Love, Love it. it. Oh, here's the pillowcase ticket. I got that's the third one. Oh. Fourteen. Next is another chaser item. So mm, this was mine. Again, chaser. It's a sweatshirt with stars all over it. Can you imagine? Yes, of <laughs> course it was mine. Of course it was. Uh, it no longer fit me. Something's weird about the fit. I can't remember. Anyway, I listed it. No money into it. And it sold for 15 bucks. Nice. Okay, the next thing is really beautiful. Soft surroundings. Seven. So if you want to open that and show people. Yeah. Soft surrounding silk acrylic wool shawl sweater, green floral embroidery ruffle. Sold for $25. We had had it for a little bit, so I did let it go for less than I wanted, but it's a sweater as well, and I wanted to get it out of here. We need the room so much. It's really pretty. Look at this thing. Coat again? Oh, it's like a shawl again. Shawl again. It's really absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's... We pick up most soft surroundings if it looks similar to this. If there's like hand embroidery on it, I keep saying like if it looks like Johnny was, a lot of soft surroundings looks like Johnny was. And we pick up those styles more than basics. So 25 bucks it is. They paid, I don't know how much for shipping. We got to check that. I think eight ninety nine. Yep. This was listed originally on December 15th of 2022. And so we do list all year round. We list sweaters all year. But more sweaters sell in the colder months, obviously. So sometimes we take lower offers so we don't have to wait till the next season for it to sell. Although we have sold sweaters in the summer. We sell them all summer. So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Just use your own discretion. And if you have the room to keep it and maybe hold out for another, in this case, maybe 10 bucks. Like, who cares, right? He has got this. Look at this face. He's very prideful on how much he can shove into a padded flat rate. Right? Pretty confident. That thing is huge. It's pretty large. It's going to California, so we definitely need it in some sort of budget option. Mm. So I hope what you're saying, we have one more after this, but I hope what you're learning today, as a teacher, we'd always do a summary at the end. I hope what you're learning today is that a good mixture of things, price points, is often very helpful. That's what we're learning at least. I am not gonna shudder at the $20 sales. I'm not gonna feel bad about that. I'm gonna feel really happy that I sold a lot of things, <laughs> right? Because we sold 20 things on a Wednesday and that's, that's not- awesome normal for us yeah 
the idea is to list as many as you're selling. And last night we listed 22 and 20 are going out today. So that's pretty good. Yep. Uh, and we sold a hundred and seventy dollar uh -huh. pair of pants. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on it, you need help? <laughs> All right, whatever. He's got it. The I other got moral, it. I got it. The other moral of the story: you can fit more than you think in a pad of flat rate envelope. <laughs> uh, I don't have a on the box. Okay, and finally, finally, wouldn't be a hustle couple video without an Eileen Fisher. Ain't that the truth? And we have a fantastic Eileen Fisher that I would love to talk to you about, even though we're over an hour now. Woo! This color is called chartreuse. It is not mustard. Nope. It's a little too green to be mustard. And the reason I'm making this distinction is because there's a whole slew of people in the world that love chartreuse. Me. I love the <laughs> mustard. I do. But chartreuse is an extra special situation. Yeah. It looks great with black and white stripes. Think Beetlejuice, okay? You feel what I'm saying? Right. It's so ugly of a color that it's amazing. <laughs> That's how I describe chartreuse. It's definitely got green in it i'm going to show you here hold this up for me yeah man i'm going to show you this this is a slub knit sweater these little variations in the knit make it slubby and then so see the difference here let me show you the difference oh we're gonna we're gonna show difference so this is a green this is like from that pillowcase this yep. is like a olive green and then that makes this look mustard right because this green is pulling this will look more yellow compared to the green. We're gonna do a color theory. Hold on, let me get a mustard. Hang on. Ah, oh, the best mustard of all time. Seriously. Okay. This is my coat, you guys. I haven't taken it to get done yet. This is the most mustardy mustard of all time. Now look. You see the difference? You see how this is pulling green now? You feel? You feel me? Yeah. Chartreuse. Mustard. <laughs> different colors. Anyway, don't say a chartreuse if it's not, because people get mad. Mm -hmm. But when it is... I love it. You go for it. You go for it. Okay, here's the title. Eileen Fisher, size extra large, sweater, chartreuse, yellow cotton linen blend, slub knit top. Boom. $41. Dang. $41. Love it. We sold that funny. same we sell that same sweater for thirty all the time, but the fact that it's chartreuse adds value. It's a very rare color, and to actually get a chartreuse, a true chartreuse, there's a pun there somewhere. True, chart, true. It's in it's in the word. I'm telling you, adds value, value. All right, that guy weighs twelve. Here we go. All right. We're a little full because we have these boxes of inventory behind me. So we need to spread out some kind of a way. All right. This feels like a Monday shipping video. Goodness. I mean, you never know. eBay could shut down on us tomorrow, so we'll take it when we can get it. You just never know. Never know. Okay, so the TV, UPS ground, at the actual weight of 23 pounds, uh, it's given me a price of $29.24. But at the dimensional weight of 36, $29.24. So it might be doing, I don't, I don't want to speculate that it's doing the calculation automatically for us. It just might have worked out that way. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So we always do the hand calculations. You do what you do, want to do. We always hand calculate it because sometimes it's not the same. Right. And when it's not the same, it's like a couple bucks. So it's like fine. Maybe eBay's finally fixed it. Huh? Hey, that would be something, wouldn't it? I mean, I'd still double check it. For sure, every <laughs> single time. Because you do not want to get back charged because... The back charge is the retail rate. Yeah, it's crazy. it is not. Like, you'll get a 50 or or $100 slam, and it's like, whoa. Wait, where's, 
We're not gonna have to worry about it though, because we're not shipping that kind of stuff anymore. Please, no more. Please. Now we have three waiting for payment. <sighs> Just sold another thing. Yay! I sent out offers right before the video, so that's when we normally get a bunch of sales because people will take the offers. I've been sending out aggressive offers, as you can see with our sale prices. <laughs> But you know what? We're moving stuff. We only have this amount of space. We have to move stuff. And any profit at some point is good profit. I agree with that. Not if you just list it, you know what I mean? But like... We've had it a while. Clear it out! More space for new stuff. Okay, ready? I'm ready. 7372. 7416, 7414. 7364. Seven, four, four. All these 73s and 74 seven, numbers are just listed. So this yep. is like fantastic. I'll sell something lower price just to get it gone quickly seven four seven eight every time seven four seven eight all these seven fours it's in a padded, it's in a padded. okay it's big padded okay okay no no not a fire okay you're freaking me out just let me find it oh my God. <sighs> sorry <sighs> i'm sorry it's not oh my god it totally freaked me out it's not okay say the number again seven four seven eight what is it? The Neiman Marcus. Okay, this says 7477. Okay. Pat it, pat it, pat it. <laughs> it's like when you chase me, I hate it. <laughs> if I'm walking down the hallway and he's trying to walk faster than me, I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Seven, four, seven, All right, padded flat rate, okay. 7294. Freaking TV. Oh. <laughs> Get out of our house, friend. Goodbye. I said good day. I said good day. <laughs> three eight three nine. The bundle for Elizabeth. Bundle. This one? I don't think so. This is partially in stage. Okay, then yes. And there's this other ticket. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, six nine zero four. Seven four six zero. Just 
Star Wars Origami. Thank you. Thank you very much. The little bunny. Thirty-seven cents into that guy. All right. Finn's bunny. Finn's bunny. <laughs> Uh, the pillowcase, padded flat rate, scissors, scissors, pillowcase, scissors, scissors. Uh, seven, five, five, seven. Oh, that's a really new one. Seven, five. Yep. That was from like last night. We're on seven, five, yeah. Yep. Six three seven seven. And April's in the six thousand, so that could have been new as well. Don't ask; it's a little bit confusing. Four seven three three padded flat rate. And seven zero eight zero. Right, man. Yes. It's a good shipping day for a Wednesday. Yes. All right, we're gonna go do the bookkeeping. Dan's gonna take the packages. You're gonna see the cats. Then we'll come back here yes. to see how much profit we made, which is the real reason we do these videos. That's exactly right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Jeremy. Picnic. What's going on? Hmm. We had a lot of stuff to ship out today. You don't care. You just want your treats. Come on. Good boy. There you go. You guys say bye to all your fans. Yep, Jeremy's out. Picnic? Mesmerized? Yep. There she goes. Good girl. Bye. Hi. Hi. I'm quite done yet. <clears throat> all right, all right. Let me show if some people are might be new. I've never seen Vendu before. This is what Vendu looks like. It's basically like a hub for all of your listings. So I just put the inventory number up here and then it comes up. I go to eBay, I go to market sold, and then it will delist on Poshmark and Macari once I mark it as sold. Okay, Chaser, $13 bill. <laughs> $13 bill. <laughs> 46 cents, that's so cool. I know, right? If they could only all be that way. I know. 20 bucks made on that. And so the final number is our actual profit once our cost of goods and fees are taken out. Uh, some of the stuff sold promoted. The good thing about selling stuff quickly is we don't promote it right away, so we didn't have to pay promote. We did pay promotions on this, but not on a lot of things. Cost of goods, six, marketplace fees, 1046. See, this was promoted. 2465 on the Eileen Fisher. <coughs> All right, I'll tell you what we made on each thing. Talbot's red <coughs> pants. Now, I may have sold myself short on these. I really only sold for 13. 
And when I went to delist, it came up with an error because there was offers out on Poshmark. Oh. Maybe red pants are in. Maybe. Don't listen to what I said. Maybe red pants are in. I don't know. We made five seventy profit. Uh, the Chaser Panther tank top eleven seventy. The J Joe Mix Media fourteen seventy three. The Chico's Blue New Attacks pants eighteen forty eight. The Neiman Marcus sweater eighteen forty five. The Eskandar pants one hundred and thirty six dollars and fifty three cents. Yes. The Janie and Jack sixteen dollars and fifteen cents. The TV, the dang TV, twenty five eighty nine. Hey, still profit though, kind of. Uh, the bundle that Elizabeth bought is I split it in half, so the profit's not. Anyway, whatever. It looks like we made seventeen dollars on a plush. <laughs> we did not. <laughs> Uh, the Jay McLaughlin <coughs> shirt was twenty six twenty one profit. Talbot's Irish linen fourteen sixty five profit. Star Wars five ninety profit. The Grey Bunny five forty seven profit. Aww. The pillowcase is eleven fifty seven because I put the cost of goods of all three of them in there. The Talbot's uh, blazer thirteen thirteen. The Chaser Star shirt twelve eighty nine. The Soft Surrounding Shawl twenty forty five, and the Eileen Fisher Chartreuse twenty four sixty five. Nice. These numbers are low for us. They are. I was I was just about to say. I mean, with the exception of the Escandar, there's nothing super great in there. But I'm probably going to be pleasantly surprised by the total. Because it's Wednesday and it was twenty things. Yeah. I mean, Let's see. Speaking of the total. Today. What? Let this catch up. <clears throat> okay. Let this catch up. Oh, it will. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Vendu. Come on. I know you can do it. There. There it is. you go. Okay, 19 items. It was actually 20 because we had sold two pillowcases, but 418 in profit. That's awesome on for a, a wednesday. wednesday so the volume game when it works can work and it can get you enough money so we we aim for 300 dollars profit a day and it's the 5th of april so we should have 1500 dollars profit to be on goal for the month boom bam right there selling 20 dollars things <clears throat> i'm not saying this is what we want to do all the time but having a good mix with the eskandar sale is always very helpful yep uh, look how much up we are from March. 68 items in the first five days of March. We only sold 33. Whoa. We are lapping March. Actually, though. Look at the number of listed items. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 37.17 is our average sale price. I mean, the... It includes shipping and stuff like that. Yeah, a little, a little inflated. But what I'm trying to say is <clears throat> this is an experiment, and hopefully we continue to sell this volume. Hopefully. Yeah, for real. Maybe people are just, it's easier to spend 20 bucks than it is. I mean, I know that's the case. Oh, we're also running an aggressive sale. Yep. And I'm about to, um, is it Thursday? Tomorrow I'm going to run a sale on, I'm going to send a coupon to all of our previous buyers. Uh-oh. And like buy targeted coupon. I am like buy three save thirty percent or something. It's gonna be something like that, so we can move a large volume. I'm trying to move like a hundred things on uh, my next shipping video. Nice. Let's yeah. Let's try to do that. I know, right? We'll see. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it, and we'll see you later on tonight, seven p.m. Central until ten o'clock. Live listing on the other channel. It's called the Reseller Workroom. It's linked down below in the in the uh, description. Come hang out. Bye. Bye.